Welcome to the official Windows 8 channel and today we will talk about an error message that is quite frequent in the Windows 8 especially if you try to install apps or uh, update some apps you might have an actual error message while it's uh, installing the apps and uh, finally it can lead to a message that looks like this this application wasn't installed error code 0x 8024001E so if you see this error message or a variant, the application wasn't installed, error code, uh, there's I believe another one that's 0x802-4600E. Uh, um, then you can't update or install anything from the Windows Store and it always crashes and gets this weird error message. There's a quick fix for this. And um, if you search the web for it, uh, I know that Microsoft has a fix-it file that you can uh, download and it fixes this little problem automatically. But um, if you're uh, willing to follow the little instructions I have here, they're not really difficult to do. Uh, I think this is a great, great way to fix it right away. So first thing you'll need to do is go into the bottom left corner of your screen, right click and get the command prompt with administrative privileges and that's important you need to have administrative privileges and then you'll say yes in that black window you will start typing exactly what I'd say first net and ET space stop space W U a U S E R V and press enter now my service is already stopped but you should have a message that should say the uh, service has been stopped and everything should be okay once you go you type CD and two consecutive dots press enter which will send you to the Windows folder itself you will now type rename R E N A M E space software distribution and you will need in a lot of cases to put the two um, the first letter of software and the first letter of distribution in uh, caps to uh, really make it work then space and you'll type uh, once again software distribution but this time you'll put dot b c k backup so this is how it should be rename software distribution space software distribution dot b c k press enter it now renamed that file all you have to do is type net space start space w u a u s e r v enter it's going to say windows update service starting and it should say windows update service was started su successfully that's all normally you should have fixed that error message that you had when you were trying to install apps and they would say that the application was an installed error. Uh, so you should go back to the Windows Store, reinstall all of the apps or the updates of these apps and uh, everything should be just fine after that. Uh, what you just did actually is rename the software distribution package that might be corrupted or have a problem and replaced it when you started the update service again with a brand new file that hopefully is uh, okay and fixed the problem so uh, this error message is mostly on updates of apps that are already present on your computer but in case you have that error message this is the way to fix it manually uh, if you're uneasy with that type of uh, you know operation uh, well you can search the support.microsoft Dot com website uh, type in the error code you should have a Microsoft fix it 
uh, file that you can download and click on that will do that automatically. But it's almost as complicated to go there and find it than to actually just uh, follow my steps uh, carefully. If you enjoy our videos, if it helped you in any way, please uh, give us a thumbs up, a like on the video. Uh, please subscribe to our channel and you'll be informed when your videos are online. If you have any comments, questions on what you've seen, maybe you have um, something you'd like us to talk about, make a video of, an app, a feature of Windows 8, let us know, we'll try to put it online. And um, you'll be helping others at the same time. Maybe you have that new computer with uh, Windows 8, you're a little lost, you need help. Well, this is a great channel to look at and learn how to use Windows 8 to the maximum. So thanks for watching. Hope that you will come back to the official Windows 8 channel. Bye-bye.